sorry why I missed anybody here, and yes, I'm going to talk about the movie Black Widow. Uh, I only watched it today. And what do I think of Black Widow? I thought it was a good, solid movie. I did. I liked it. Um, the, I had two problems all up with the movie. But the first problem, everybody's going to have the same problem. The timing of the movie. It should have been released years ago. This should have been released around the time of Avengers Civil War. Um, probably just before Civil War. Um, th that's when this movie was set up for. Um, it was when the, the Avengers had, had sort of like split up and some of them were locked up. and that's, that's, That was the, the, the era that this movie was in. So this should have been released years ago. Um, but apart from that, the movie itself is solid. It's The effects are, are well done. People complain about all the cut scenes. It's an action movie. You get cut scenes in action movies. But I didn't see any problem. Um, it was much, much better than a lot of the other garbage that was been coming out. I mean, Tenet. Tenet was absolute crap. Um, and anybody that liked Tenet is like, are you serious? That was just absolute garbage. Um, and th let's compare it to the other Avenger movies. It's like, anybody that complains about this movie is like, well, you've got a whole lot more to complain about in the other Avenger movies. But I'd put this right up there. Uh, I'd, I'd say out of all the Avenger movies, I'd, this is my top three. I'd put probably Iron Man 1 as number one. I put Black Widow as number two, and I'd probably put Winter Soldier as number three. All the rest were just garbage. And especially Infinity War and Endgame, it's just like, let's see how many people we can throw into one movie, and hopefully it does well. But Black Widow would have done a lot better if they would have released this years ago. As I said, I had two problems with the movie. Um, the second problem I had, just me being finicky, because I'm a dick. Uh, the other problem was they had these jets in, uh, in the movie that they could land and take off vertically, but they had no visual way of pro propulsion that could achieve that. They had jet engines on the wings, but they had nothing to do vertical takeoff or landing. That's just me being a prick. But anyway, magic of movies. Uh, the other thing is they get to the end of the movie, it fades out, and you, you think you're going to get credits. But no, they continue on. Because they show the prelude to Avengers Civil War. Uh, or is it after Civil War, and in between the next one. It's around that time, but they, they set up for the next movie. So this movie should have been <laughs> released years ago. And uh, anyway, so they, they set that, they set up that, and then they roll the credits. But being in, being like a, a Marvel movie, I knew to keep an eye out. At the very end of the credits, so the, the, the credits do finish, and then you get another scene. Because in this movie, Black Widow has a sister. Uh, obviously, you're not a natural sister, but she is a sister, sort of. And uh, in the end, after the credits, um, they show the sister going to visit the grave of Natasha. And you know, everybody knows that she, she died in, in Endgame. And obviously they wouldn't have had a body because... But uh, the, the sister goes to visit her grave and then we get set up for another character to enter the Marvel Universe. Uh, and oh, what's that woman's name from Seinfeld um, something Dreyfus she's in it she's really annoying and they could have left her out completely um, they could have got someone else to do that character she's supposed to be funny she wasn't funny she's ridiculous that's my complaints and everything like that um, but, but Black Widow itself is a solid movie see ya